one of the things you wrote as we prepared for this that, that that really resonated with me is you want your girls to be brave in a world that values safety. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. what what are you doing to teach that? How do you get that across to the next generation? Um, I mean, really, I I truly believe that where we live on a ranch and we have horses and we have cattle and we have dogs and everything that's there surrounded by is very, could be very unsafe. So, I mean, riding a horse, like you hear all of the nightmare stories of kids falling off or kids getting hurt and stuff like that. And it does happen, but the feeling you get and the freedom you get when you are being able to just go and ride this creature that trusts you, that you trust, that lets you, I mean, you can go and rope a cow off of a horse. You can go hunt off of a horse. You can fly. I mean, literally, like, that's the closest we get to flying, I really believe, on this earth is when you're running a horse wide open in a field. And that feeling and that ability to be able to go and do that should always override the fear and the safety of what could happen. You know, I just really feel like the little kids that grow up around that kind of stuff, they have a great respect for what safety is. And I'm not saying go and play out on a busy street or anything like that. Like I'm not going to let my kids ever do that. I'm not going to let my kids go and do something super unsafe with their animals. But man, like there could be something really bad that happens if that kid is going and riding that horse. But more than often than not, there's amazing things that happen when they get to go and do something like that. And so I just, I have, I've taught them like your fear is God given like that ability to be like, ah, this doesn't feel right. I'm not going to do this, but don't let it override the, I don't know, just like that magical moment that you get to go and do something really amazing that most people don't get to, um, don't get to do. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, no, absolutely. Really long ways around the mountain. No, and, and the other thing I love of what you're teaching your girls is that bond when something else is bigger than you, right? Like when you want to sleep in, but you yeah. know you can't because that horse can't eat unless you get up and go feed him mm-hmm. or the goat, right? Like, the, And I think if we had more of that in our world, if if more kids grew up – not thinking the world revolves around them, but actually sacrificing for something else. I think there's so many valuable life lessons that take place on a ranch that you don't get a lot of other places in society. Yeah, no, I totally agree. There is, um, I help take care of the horses just because those are, those are my babies. They were my babies before (laughs) I had babies, (laughs) but the chickens, And the goats and the rabbit that we have, I'm like, girl, those are yours because all honesty, I can live without them. (laughs) Yeah. So if you want them in your life, they're going to be your sole responsibility. If you need help sometime, of course, or if they're at grandma's house, I'm going to take care of them for them. But that that is their sole responsibility. 